Hey friends, Fargo here, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Content Facts, the series that goes into all the stuff I've learned about putting together and making content packs. Today I'll be showing you the barebone basics on how to get into Toontown's phase files using Panda3D's SDK. First, you should go to Panda3D's website, link down in the description below. You'll be prompted by a page like this. Next, you'll see the button that looks like this, and go ahead and get the SDK. This will install the most recent version of the software. Remember, the SDK, which stands for Software Development Kit, can be installed anywhere, so long as you have the tools the software provides. I would put it somewhere you can remember for future reference, as we'll be using the SDK's tools pretty frequently. What this program does for us is it enables file types like .mf to be readable, so you'll know when you installed Panda3D's SDK correctly when your .mf files show a Panda icon on the left side instead of the default file icon. Next, it's time to locate our Toontown files. For rewritten, they should be wherever you installed them. For example, in your program files or standalone in a drive. You can find the folder fairly easily by right-clicking your desktop icon for rewritten and selecting Open File Location. This should, in theory, take you to your Toontown rewritten folder. Here it is. For Corporate Clash, accessing your face files is as easy as opening the launcher, selecting an account, and clicking the gear icon on the bottom right. This will show you a pop-up window in which you can simply click the Open Game Directory Folder button. And as easy as pie, you're at your face files. All of the face files should be in the folder labeled Resources. Conveniently for Corporate Clash, there's also a place for content packs. We'll want to move the file explorer to the side for now though, and open our command prompt. You can do this by pressing the start button and S to open your computer's search bar. Like so. Go ahead and type command prompt and select the black box app that comes up. This is where we do all our computery techy things like extraction and repacking. Once you've opened the command prompt, we'll want to somehow extract the MF files and convert them to usable folders. This is where Panda3D's tools come into play. The tool we'll be using today is called Multify, which essentially means we're taking the MF file also known as Panda3D Multifiles, and blowing it up, making a folder that contains, well, you guessed it, multiple files. So with this information in hand, let's get to extracting. First step of the command prompt, the computer needs to know exactly where we're working, or else it can't help us. Go ahead and type the name or letter of the drive that your Toontown folder resides, for example, the C drive, followed by a colon to indicate it's a drive. Mine is in the K drive, so I'll be typing K colon, like this. Go ahead and press enter. Once you've pressed enter, we'll want to be even more specific than that. So we type cd in the command prompt after. As explained in previous videos, cd stands for change directory. Go ahead and drag the destination of where your face files might be located into the command prompt as shown. Then press enter. There we are, now we're working in that specific folder. This next step involves the Panda3D tool I mentioned before. Once we've changed the directory to wherever our face files are, we can go ahead and type that illustrious seven letter word into our command prompt. For those of you that don't know, it is multiply. Once we've done so, we should also type the accompanying phrases minus X and minus F with spaces in between all three, just like this. And here you have it the main command you'll be using to extract all the phase files. Why do we type negative x and negative f? Well, I'm probably not the best person to ask about that. However, this Panda3D manual about multi-files could probably help those willing to learn more about Panda3D's coding. For now though, in the wise words of Todd Howard, it just works. After we've typed out the command, we want to follow up with the name of the phase files we'd like to extract. In this case, I want to extract phase underscore three dot MF. Once we've typed out the full name of the phase file after the multiply command, we can go ahead and press enter and let the panda gods do their work. And look, it's finished. And just like that, we now have an openable phase three folder. Keep in mind that this process doesn't delete the original MF file. In a way, it's sort of like unzipping a zipped file, only twice as complicated for the user. For Toontown Rewritten Content Packs, make sure to create a Resources folder if you haven't already. This is where your extracted phase files should go for now. 
For Corporate Clash content packs, keep in mind that there's already a resources folder, so that's much less work on your end. And there you have it. This has been Content Facts. If you liked the video, press the like button. And if you didn't like the video, call the number on your screen right now for a full refund. Make sure to subscribe to join the Hypno Party, and I've been Fargo, and stay hypnotized, folks. Football, football, come kick the ball, it's no, 14, it's coming home, 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 football. Anyway, this duck's really good and embodies the true English spirit. Um, I think this duck is a true, true hero of its people, and uh, I will cheer for this duck and I'll, I'll, I'll kick this duck right into the back of the net. Bend it like Beckham, why? Can you tell how genuinely a fan of sports I am by my enthusiasm and my voice? Where's half black half? Okay, wait, wait a minute, Go wait a minute. minute. What, no, no, first of all, I'm pretty sure this, the modern soccer ball design is an American invention. So? So what? That doesn't mean you're good at the sport. Uh, actually, yes, it is. Like, who, who won the last Olympics with soccer? I don't know. Um, I, soccer, I, I mean, know. I don't know. Duck, this has nothing.